Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you an example how you can use Unicage Data Analysis Platform on Amazon Cloud Computing Service. So here's an example. Um, let's see that you have a task making a sales report for your boss by tomorrow morning. There are 30 chain of stores and 882 different products that are fall into 11 categories. The sales transaction is over 3 million records for about one year. What you have to report is sales and the profit for all and each product category. Your boss may want to see which category product is the best selling, which one is the worst. This sample might come across the retailer's mind. So let's get it started. Let's go to google.com and search for AWS Marketplace. Search for Unicage and click on the link for Unicage platform. Look over the product details and check out end user license agreement. Go up the page and see the prices for each instance. Click continue button. And I assume you have AWS account. Login. And we are back in the page. The choose your instance type. Since Unicase command does parallel processing, the more CPU and cores, the faster performance you can have. For this example, I'll pick up a standard large one and it's going to cost me 84 cents an hour and the launch the instance. Click the link for Amazon Cloud Computing Management Console and we can see the instance initializing. When once it gets started running, Let's connect to it. Specify your the key and make access connection. So here I am in the instance. Let's create a directory for the sample in home directory. I name it the Unicase sample. Next, uh, let's get the data for the sample downloaded to the directory we just made. 2 megabyte zip, zip data, it's going to take us a few seconds. To use the data, we need to unzip the zipped file. To make it as simple, the instance includes only Unicage and very basic Linux commands. So we need to install the unzip command. Once installed, Unzip the zip file and check what files are in. Do you know in detail what files include what cells information? 
go to USB Labs web page and support form. Here you can find explanation for each file. Also, you can find a sample shell program that's uh, that I'm going to use in this sample. Following the sample shell program, line by line, we can get the cell support done. So let's uh, first create the cell support layout. What we need in the report is product category number, category name, the number of sold product that's in a thousand unit, sales and profit amount in a million dollar unit, and the last one is a profit percentage in the sales. Let's check the heads of the price file. From the left, we can see the product code in the first column or field. You need product price and the number of the products that are sold. With lcount command, that counts the number of the rows or records in the file. We can see how many products we have. So it's uh, 182 pro products. Let's uh, look at the heads of the sales files. From the left, we can see store number, product code, transaction date, the number of the purchase product, sales amount, and the discount amount for each transaction. So let's, uh, let's see how many sales transaction we have. It's over 3 million. Comma, command puts the comma. So we have 3,094,800 records. If you wanted to learn the Unicage commands, go to USB Labs web page and check out the command descriptions. Join one command as price file record to sales file if the key value matches in the two field files. In this case, the product code is the key value. In the work one, you can see the product price and the number of the purchase product that are added to sales file. Following the shell program sample, let's see the category file. We have product code and product category in the file. So this file tells us which product belongs to which category. We need to add the category to each product. Same as an early one, join one helps us do that.
if the product codes codes match the add the category code just behind the product code you can see the category code just added and and, and at this point all we need in the sales report is collected so next Let's select the fields that we need in the report. Field number three is a category number. Number seven is the number of the purchased product. And the number eight is sales amount. Plus calculate the profit. Sales minus unit price times the number of the purchased product is gonna be profit. Let's check the calculation result. We have category number, quantity of purchased products, sales amount, and profit. Let's sort of sort the result by category numbers. Yeah, it's gonna help us summarize the sales for each category. Let's sort of sort the result by category numbers. Yeah, it's gonna help us summarize the sales for each category. Over three million transactions sorted in three seconds. Let's see the first and last in lines of three million records. So we can see that the head start with the category number one and the last lines with the 11 since there are 11 categories. Using SM2 command, we can sum up the total amount of purchased products, sales, and profits for each category. Let's see the result inside. From left, category number and the number of the purchase products, and sales amount and profit for each category. At, at next, we need to calculate the total amount of the purchased products and sales and profit, profit for all the stores. SM5 commands helps us do that. Do you have the number of purchased products in thousand unit and the sales and profit in million dollar unit, we will use dfk command in a row. dfk command, command device specify field 
by a thousand. So my last calculation is a profit in percentage using a L calculation command. So let's check work nine. Okay, so there are too many decimal numbers and I'll round off the numbers in the five digits and at the first decimal place. So now we almost have done our sales report, but I wanted to add the category names in my report layout and form the numbers. Then it's going to be easier to understand for my boss. So here's the category name file. Using join to command, we can add the names to the report. Comma and default F calls commands help us help us form the layout layout of the report. Now 
we can we have the sales report and we wanted to show it to to our boss in Excel sheet to copy the report and CSV from it. So when you download your data into local machine, it's better to zip your data. As I mentioned earlier, you need to you get the zip command installed. Zip and download the sales report. So, so that's it for sales report. Once you're done, exit and stop the instance. Thank you.